Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I'm going to demo the Lush Giant Golden Wonder Bath Bomb. And I'm super, super excited to do this demo because the Golden Wonder is my favorite Lush Bath Bomb. Now, I did a demo earlier this year. It was part of my Christmas in July, my brilliant Christmas in July idea to kind of get rid of all my favorite bath bombs that I still had left over from last Christmas that were old. So they, it was kind of a flop. It was kind of, it was a good idea in theory. But um, so I haven't really had a good Golden Wonder experience since last Christmas. So I'm really excited to do this bath bomb because it's huge. And I really do know it's my favorite, but the last one I used just didn't go well because it was old. So anyway, I have the Christmas sweater here for um, perspective as far as what size the regular bath bombs are pretty much um, most of them. And the Golden Wonder, I think it is a little bit bigger um, just because of the shape. You know, it's just, you know, the angles are a little bit bigger. Um, it is one of the bigger ones that they make. Um, <clears throat> I think that this one is supposed to be six times the size of the regular one. So um, that being said, it's super, super shimmery. It's awesome. It's exactly like the regular one, except for when you shake it, it doesn't have the little, um, the rattling with like the little present or the gift inside. But other than that, it is awesome. It smells exactly the same. So I cannot wait to get it in the water. So I'm going to go ahead and cut right here and get ready to do that. All right. So I can honestly, Almost not even hold this with one hand, but I am not complaining. I think that is just absolutely awesome. Okay, so if you're watching this, I'm going to assume that you already know about the Golden Wonder and have probably already had one. So the scent on this is, um, I've always said that I think it smells like a fancy, sophisticated sweet tart and um, with like a fizzy champagne background. And the scent description is actually, um, it's got sweet orange oil, lime oil, and cognac in it. And it's different to me than anything that I've smelled from Lush. And I think there are a couple other scents that are similar, but I think this is probably the only one just like this. But um, I absolutely love it. It's getting heavy. I don't know if it's gonna float these giant bath bombs. I don't believe they're gonna float until I see it. So I just really need to put it in the water and I cannot wait to see it. So let's go ahead and get it in there. Ah. Smells so good. And I know that it has some pretty colors inside. Okay, let me just get back a little bit. Because this is going to be like a show for the whole tub, I think. So let's just do that for the most part. It's so pretty. Let me see if I can get close. It's so soft and it looks like a dessert. It looks really soft and creamy right there. Oh, it looks so pretty. And the colors are awesome. Oh, wow. But I want to back up too because I want y'all to see this. Oh, it's gorgeous. Now, I got two of these. I got one to demo and I got one to keep just on my shelf. I just want to keep smelling it. I just want to keep looking at it, but I might have to get another one. It's so awesome. I mean, it's definitely not disappointing on any level compared to what I thought that it would do. It's gorgeous. 
Oh my God, it smells good. Now I was going to wait a little bit longer and try to do it like on, I don't know, a special occasion, but I'm thinking, you know, what am I waiting for? <laughs> so it's so beautiful. I come in a little bit closer because I just want to see it up close too. And you know what? I put in another order today. I don't know if you guys do this, but anytime I order from Lush, it doesn't matter if I wait for a week and I think about an order I'm making. That day, that next day, it's kind of like going to the grocery store. I will need something. I decide that I want something else like that next, that, that same night. So that just it stands to reason. That's just typical. And I'm, of course, I'm not going to make an order for one thing. So, of course, you know, I'm going to need three or four more things before I get another one of these. And then, of course, you hope that they're not sold out at that point. It's just a mind game. <laughs> So, if you haven't ordered one of these and you like Golden Wonder, or if you haven't tried it, why not go for the big one? Go for it. Because, you know, you can always pick up a small one over the holidays. But, I don't know how long that these giant ones are going to last. And from what I understand, I could be wrong, um, the giant ones are not, oh my goodness, look at all the colors, are not going to be um, in the stores um, in the States. Now, I don't know if that means that they're going to be on the North American site for Christmas or not. I don't know. Of course, I could be wrong about all this. This is just kind of the information I've gathered um, on the internet. And you know, the internet's always right, so... Those colors are very, very pretty. That looks like it might just hang out for a little while, but I'm okay with that. Let's check out the rest of the bath art. There's that beautiful aquamarine water right there. It's just one little spot that doesn't have bath art on it. And then we'll wear back over here to the beautiful colors. Those are seriously gorgeous. Okay, so this is pretty much the end of the show. I don't think that this is moving at all or is going to move. So I'm going to have to grab it and crush it. And I'm going to enjoy that, I think. Um, I don't know how hard or soft it's going to be. It's not good for my bad wrist and thumb, but I don't think it's going anywhere. I won't push on it really hard. hard. I don't know that it would have dissolved really on its own much. Taking a while and my water is very, very warm. Okay, I'm not going to myself trying to squish this anymore. I'm going to put this over here to the side and we're going to look at the watercolor real quick.
And I'm assuming it's, oh, you can see the shimmer. Absolutely. Look at the shimmer. Oh my goodness. All the gold shimmer. It's amazing. Wow. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. This bath bomb, I would think, would be more than than the price that they're actually charging for it. Okay, um, I think you guys can see it's just it's beautiful. All right, let's check out the bubbles. overtaken with bubbles but it's definitely an awesome experience considering the fact that it's supposed to be kind of a bubbly champagne-y bath with a scent and that whole thing so I think it's just perfectly fitting what the bubbles look like with this so let's check them out closer up so also I don't know if you guys can tell but there's there's like a, a neon kind of yellow kind of blue and green kind of swirl on top that is really, really pretty. It definitely has a yellow green cast on top of the bubbles, which I think is really cool. They're definitely not white. So this consistency is a little different than what I'm used to usually, especially with a bubble bar. If I were to do a bubble bar, they would be really thick and dense and really small and even, um, even creamy. But these are just really thick and um, just big, loose, fun bubbles that won't last very long. And if I kept the jets off, they'd probably just totally disappear, which may be what I do because that color water is just way too beautiful to go without being seen. So that's probably what I'll do. But it's very nice to know that you could make a bubble bath with this also. All right, well, I will hop in the shower and let you guys know how awesome this was, and I already know it's gonna be awesome when I get out. See you in a few minutes. All right, guys, so I'm done with my giant golden wonder bath from Lush, and there is quite a bit of shimmer down there in the bottom, and I expected that because just the regular size Golden Wonder, there was some shimmer left down in the bottom of the tub too. As you could see, the watercolor was just beautiful. Once I got in the water, there was so much of that gold luster in there, the water actually looked metallic, so that was beautiful. Um, the water was so moisturizing though, be careful. It is actually really, really slippery. I was kind of was slipping and sliding in there a little bit, so um, definitely do be careful with that. Also, there were more bubbles in there than I expected. I did let them die down um, so I could see the watercolor, but then I turned the jets on again and there were actually more bubbles the second time I turned the jets on. The other thing that kind of surprised me was the scent was not any stronger than the regular Golden Wonder that I can remember. So it wasn't like the super crazy strong six times the scent of the regular Golden Wonder, which I thought very interesting. But other than that, I really enjoyed this bath bomb. I thought it was really cool. The show was absolutely gorgeous and I would recommend getting it and trying it and 
I think New Year's Eve, once I was in there, I thought New Year's Eve would be a great time to do and try this bath bomb because it's kind of a celebration bath bomb, reminds you of a bottle of champagne, and I just, I don't know, I love it. It's just a beautiful little package. So go ahead and get one, pick one up if you can, and I appreciate you guys watching this demo. Let me know if you've had one and what you thought about it, and I will just see you back here for the next demo. Thanks, you guys. See you later. Bye-bye.